Hey guys, welcome to today's video in which we are actually gonna try on the items I received in my BoxyCharm Premium PR box. I feel like you guys really enjoyed just the pure unboxing so that I could take my time and explain things to you guys and I think you guys will appreciate me taking the time to really try the products and not like rush through them and give you guys real first impressions. So the first item we're going to try is the uh, IDAZ Water Fit Mask. It's a hydrating mask. I'm going to assume it, oh yeah, it's super juicy. Look, 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 look. It's just gonna like squirt stuff out, which is, typically it's kind of gross. Good thing I have my handy dandy paper towels right in front of me. Ooh, what? What? Okay, first of all, this is weird because, huh. It has like a ne what the heck is this? Oh, it says remove the film. This is not a film, honey. This is, this is a net. Why are you so complicated? Oh, this is really cold. And by the way, the AC in my house is off. Cause it's a little chilly here in Port St. Lucie, Florida. So, um, we turned off the central air so that I wouldn't freeze my butt off. Uh, you know what? This was not too big on my face. In my opinion, it is not too big. She's, she's okay. Usually like overlap in a lot of areas because it's too big. This one's good. This is really cooling on the skin. I'm gonna wait like 15. I'm gonna meet it halfway because it says 10 to 20. I'll wait 15 and then I'll be right back. Oh, okay. Even though my skin is warm, this still felt super cool the entire time. It is fragranced. It doesn't smell bad. It actually smells super pretty. I am gonna go in and blend what's left onto my skin. Then I got a little fan. I got it off of Amazon. I, uh, I mentioned in a video recently that I wish I had a fan, that I can just do one of these, but I don't know where to get it from. And I didn't think of Amazon. I don't know why, because I'm a space cadet, but look, ah, and it like, and it was so cheap too. I think it was like 10 bucks. Let me finish this off and then we'll move right along. So I found it weird that the mask came with netting and I personally don't love masks that are super juicy, but this one, it looks really good. So I, I ain't even gonna lie. And my skin looks, it like feels really good right now because I did go in and remove all my peach fuzz. So it's a little on the sensitive side. So I really needed this mask today. So I'm not mad at it. Now we're gonna use the Epion Beverly Hills Flawless Serum. In my unboxing, I raved about their packaging. It is super light. I don't like that I'm not able to like, like separate it to see what's inside or the amount. But I mean, it came in a beauty box and it's PR, so I can't be too mad at it. It doesn't have a scent and it is clear. So I'm gonna take this serum and I'm going to press it onto my skin. And once it's been pressed in, I'm gonna give it like two minutes. Um, after the two minutes, I will go ahead and uh, like blend it in uh, with my fingers just to kind of massage it into my skin a little more. By the way, serums, when they're like, when you're done, just do this. Never wipe away, okay? Cause your hands need skincare too. Look at that, pow, pow, pow. By the way, my nail polish. I am obsessed. I personally like this color more than I like this one, but they're both super pretty. They're gel and I did them myself at home. You know what? I'm gonna just show you the items right now as I'm waiting for this to like do the most onto my skin. I'm so excited. Uh, these were sent to me by Madame Glam. I've had them on a few days. And y'all know I bathe the baby, I do laundry, I cook, I do dishes. These Madame Glam gel polishes are so unique. And I'm gonna show you another product that I was like, what the heck is this? And I'm so happy that they sent it. Yes, they did send these to me so that I can try them, see if I like them and potentially talk about them. And we're talking about them because I love them. First of all, I didn't think this color was gonna be for me. I thought maybe it would just be a little too dark, not nudie enough for my skin complexion. I personally like this one on my skin complexion more than I like this one now they both look really nice but this was a little lighter than i would have wanted it to be on my skin complexion um and i say that because colors are going to look different on everyone depending on your skin complexion so this one's called how you doing and i look how pretty that is it's kind of like a taupey gray but it's not super dark it's kind of light it's a beautiful taupey nude gray that's my description of it and then we have this one over here and it's called food coma and it's so pretty and this is what it looks like on the nails guys 
I like that at the top you do have kind of like a little swatchy swatch so you can see what it looks like on the inside before you even tap into it. This here's a product that I was saying is super unique. This is their Soak Off Builder Gel. It is in the shade Builder Light Beige. Now they have different shades of this. The reason why it's unique, look how thick this is. Now, if you've ever gone to a nail salon to get your nails, like gel nails done, then you'll know that they have like a little pot and it has the gel and they have to shape it. So you have to have a skill to do that. This makes it foolproof, I promise you. Look, it comes with a brush, you apply it, it, the formula does its thing. It like shapes on your nail beautifully. You just apply it like a nail polish. I'm adding B-roll here so you guys can see. I actually did my nails myself. I'm really excited over it. They came out super pretty. It was so easy. I was able to do both of my hands within 40 minutes. These were super easy. It does come with a base coat as well as a top coat. This light is amazing. I have another light and that one I do not like. It's really big, it's bulky and I would have to put my four, like my hand into it but then I never get my thumb properly which is kind of annoying. This did the trick. It has one button, it stops on its own. You feel like you need a second round, just click the button. You can just do this which is what I did, and cure your nails that way. Or, look, it has little legs, okay? It has little legs, it stands on. It is USB, so I was able to do it here on my filming table, and I connected it to my computer, and we were good to go, but you can also connect it to an outlet. You can connect it to anything with a USB. I am so happy they sent this my way, I promise you. I literally just went on to my email thread with Madame Glam, because I wanted to be 100% sure as to whether or not there was a discount code available for you guys, and there is. I'm gonna link it in the description box and add the code there, but if you use my link, and the code you're gonna get 30% off your order which is a amazing deal so make sure you guys check them out make sure you show them love because I'm gonna be showing them love going forward I kind of want more shades because they have really really pretty shades available and when you place your order use the discount code so you don't have to pay full price so now, what are we gonna do? We are going to try the LMS Superfood Matcha I Do. If you have received any of these items, oh, that's kind of a bit much. So if you've received your items and any of these items that you've already tried, let me know what you think. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Like, I really wanna know. I'm gonna focus some of that I do over here. I did this on purpose because I feel like maybe we should play along with the products together. That way, if you wanted to try to work on your looks, apply them, do your makeup with me, you can. I'm gonna put makeup on because I just have to, right? Because this is like a whole try-on thing. But I kinda don't want to because my skin looks really good right now. Now that my face is pretty much on and I filled in my brows just like a little bit, I am going to dip into the Glow and Go Kits by Kenya Ontiveros. I'm gonna use this brush by BK Beauty, it's their 104. I'm gonna dip into the Divine shade, which would be like a bronzer. Oh crap, I just remembered there's brow shades here. Although I just filled in my brows lightly, I mean I feel like I need a little bit of filling in in these areas so we can still, we can still use those shades, okay. So I am going to, ooh that's kinda, that's a little redder than I prefer for my bronzers. Not that it looks bad, but it's a little warmer than I like. It's kind of too late, said you said too later. My mom used to say that. I am going to take a, a blending brush. I'm gonna dip into the shade Empower, and I am going to apply that out here in the outer corner. I'm not gonna bring it all the way in. Like, I don't wanna darken this area. I wanna keep the eye wide open and bright. So I'm gonna avoid that area for now. And as you guys can see, I'm just darkening this outer V section. I am doing that on purpose because I'm trying to get the eyes to wrap around with the face. We want a nice balance going on. Okay, so this formula is really nice, girl. Like, it's blending, it's a pretty shade. So far, I've used two powders and they're nice. I'm gonna grab an eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna dip into a frosty shade. Again, we're gonna keep it simple. So I'm going into Limitless. Let's see how that applies with an actual brush. A lot of times, uh, shimmer shades are gonna be difficult to go from brush to lid, so I tend to dip into the pan with my finger and apply it that way, but it usually depends on the formula. So we, you know, Okay, I'm not gonna talk anymore. We're just gonna blend this out because clearly the formula is exactly where it needs to be. See how I'm bringing it into that shade we already applied? That's how I'm gonna start my blend. So once I did that, I'm gonna take the brush, no additional product. 
I'm gonna go over that and at that point I'm gonna bring it back and forth. I'm not bringing it all the way in, but I'm just dragging product back and forth. Again, not dipping back into the pan, just whatever's left on the brush. And then with that very same brush, I am going to go in circular motions here. That's gonna help give a really nice blend between this frosty shade and the shade we applied on the crease. I am going to dip into the darker shade out of the goals pan and I'm going to concentrate that color out here. I don't wanna bring it up too high because I'm just trying to add a little more definition out here but I don't want to create like a smoky eye or anything. With that very same brush I'm gonna dip into it one more time and I'm gonna drag just on the outer portion a little bit of that shade. Now moving on to the blush I'm gonna go into Joy. I don't think I'm gonna go in with a highlighter because I mean it's a shimmery pink and it adds highlight already to my skin. It doesn't really come off pink on me especially with this bronzer. <laughs> It's fine, it's fine. Look, a little bit here, see? A little bit's gonna go a very long way. Okay, so um, I can literally tell you right now that I don't feel like I'm gonna use this palette like at home, but for travel purposes, she's gonna come in handy for sure. And I see myself gravitating towards her and popping her in my bag. She's not massive. She has everything I'm going to need within the one palette itself. As I'm talking to you guys, I'm gonna start filling in my brows. Um, I'm gonna go into the shade Goals. However, their formulas so far are so good. Everything is applying beautifully. Everything is blending like a freaking dream. Look at this blend, look at this eye. I mean, look at that, she filled in my brows without a problem. Now we're gonna try the Stila Mascara. It is actually called the Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. And I will not be applying any lashes today because I really want to see what this does for the top if I build it to three coats I don't know we're gonna see the mascara wand looking like this this is the one that I was just like she's not different she does have somewhat of a divot like in this area here however what makes her really different is just that the bristles are kind of going all over the place like picture something that's fuzzy getting electrocuted everything is like all over the place and that's what it looks like so I'm gonna curl my lashes Moment of truth, let's do one coat. By the way, this is also something I do, I back home first. But again, you guys don't generally see that on video because of the fact that I go in with lashes anyway. Spread my lashes out and wiggle back and forth to coat them all evenly. This here is one coat. We're gonna apply coat number two. Here is coat number two. I don't wanna go with the coat number three because I feel like a third coat is just gonna make them look spidery and kind of funky looking. I think two coats is more than enough. It looks really good. And you can go also go in with a lash comb to kind of restructure them and separate the lashes if they start to look somewhat clumpy, but mine are not looking super clumpy or anything. Not to toot my own horn or anything, right? I am going to do that toot toot. This actually came out super pretty. Now we're gonna use the lippies. These are by Evio Beauty. Uh, they're really nice lip liners. So what I'm gonna do is what I did in the um, actual unboxing. I tried them because I thought they were really nice. I am going to line my lips, give it a little bit of an ombre and fill it in with the duo that we received in Boxy. I'm gonna use the darker shade to line my lips. I'm gonna take that same lip, notice that I'm being messy, that's on purpose. Same lip liner and I'm gonna ombre the outer corners a little bit. So now I'm taking the lighter shade and I'm filling my lips with it. We applied some of that darker shade on the inner portion here of the outer corners and that's so that we can get a decent blend. And here's the completed look. I actually really, really like it. It was so easy. The mascara did its thing so I could definitely go without lashes if I wanted to because this mascara actually works. Tell me what you think. Is this something that you would recreate? Do you think it's easy to put together? Are you going to recreate it? And if you do, make sure you guys do me a favor and tag me over on Instagram so that I can repost your looks. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up so that I'll know that you're liking this structure. Thank you so much for choosing to spend a few minutes out of your day with me. It really means a lot. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.